I might have something big on here. On the spinner. Still taking line. Gonna push up the friction. Oop. Might be a pike. It's got fight. This has been going on a while. I'm in trouble if I have to move around the lake as well because I'm in the the reeds here. Oh. Just need to get some line back. Come on, give me some line back. Son of a bitch. Oh, I'm redlining it. He has been fighting me a while. See, every so often, he's either turning back towards me or he's getting tired. Oh, he's still pulling line. I'm going to lose all the line on my feeder rods at this rate. It's getting dark. Come on, come on. Is he tired? Come on. Looks like he might be tired. Because if it's pike, it may not be that big. The, they don't have to be that big to fight that strong. <sighs> Look how much line he took. Wow, that was a good battle. Oh, he's still got fighting him. I've re I've got to get those feeder rods out as well. Ah, oh, there he is, there he is, what is he? It's gotta be a pike, isn't it? Because it doesn't look massive. It's a fun fish, whatever it was. Moths attacking me now. Yeah, it's not big. It's just bold, that's a pike. Nice, two kilogram pike. Like it. Glad I'm gonna get these out before I run out of line. Oof. I've wanted to put more line on these actually. Um, I was thinking to get one of the 350 meters, but the reel that actually only takes of this diameter line only takes about 100 and. What is it? Like 100 and. Uh, 70 I think it is 160 so that's only 40 more than I have on there now so I'm gonna have to look through the reels and see if there's a bigger one uh, anyway so I want to show you that fish but I also want to show you the spot it's good so I've looked at a couple of the spots uh, I'll do a longer video to show you the best spots but um, I am right here and I am basically casting out I use the spin I'm using I'm floating into that patch right there which is that direction. I am casting the feeder rods directly over there. Um, the pattern ouster I can only get about half, just over halfway, but the regular bottom feeder I can get almost to the far bank. 
going that direction. So it's just on the edge of that island. And they're hitting hard. <laughs> really hard. Just non-stop action. Um, and then when I'm spinning, I'm trying to get it in the middle of that duckweed and trawling across here. And you know what? Spinner is hitting a lot. I mean, you just saw the pike. Um, and let's... I mean, I'll just show you. I don't know if it's the same at night. I have no idea, but... I'm just basically throwing it out there. I got my reel set to nine. I'm doing my usual thing, which is going slow. Speeding up for a couple of seconds. Going slow. I don't think they hit at night as much on spinning. I've hit a couple, but it's a lot slower. So slowing down. Speeding up for a couple of seconds. And then, I mean, I think I've got like a few pike doing this and I get them, a lot of them right, right at the end. I've been getting them just about here, but not this time anyway. So yeah, this is a good spot. It's a good spot. Let's have a look at how many pike I've been getting from here. Uh, let's see, by weight. No, automatically by weight. What was that big one? Look at that pike. Look, pike. Pike, pike. I'm getting a few of them. It's a nice pike. Alright, that was it. Just wanted to show you that spot. I'll do a longer video. Uh, I'll pop this one up on YouTube so that it's there if anyone wants to know. Good spot. Right, nuggets. Bye.